I'm going to show you what changelog looks like to set it up. There's a changelog setup table uh, page, I should say. We activate changelog. Checking this box does very little. It doesn't track anything yet. It's just saying I want to be able to use changelog. At this point, I can click on the tables icon, and it'll give me a list of all the tables in the system. I have filtered this list of tables to ones I would like to talk about right now, but you have access, even your custom 50,000 range tables that we created for you, you've got the ability to turn changelog on for. The concept of changelog, I, I think, these are my best practices, is on cards, card type records like GL account cards and customer cards, vendor cards, item cards, those types of things. Typically, we don't care about changes made to all of the fields on those cards. It's just the handful per type of card. So I generally say before implementing changelog, just go through your card type forms and identify the fields you really find important, like the posting groups uh, fields, or maybe the name field on a customer card, et cetera. It's different for all the customers I work with. But then you'll see at the bottom of this list, I've got a lot of setup tables there, and you see that I'm tracking all fields on those tables. Setup tables, or pages, we can think of, they're not very high traffic tables. It's not like users are in there clickety-clacking all day and making a lot of changes. So it's pretty safe to turn on uh, tracking of all fields in your setup tables. Like you can see that the general ledger setup, I've got all fields. User setup, I've got all fields. Um, setting all fields on those types of tables is not going to fill up your database um, uh, with change log entries. And from a support standpoint, I can tell you, you will save money uh, in support by setting change log on because it, it really does help us. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm going to drill into the GL account table um, and identify what fields I want to be able to track in change log. In this case, I've said I want to know if anybody has um, inserted, deleted, or changed uh, the blocked field or the direct posting fields on a, a GL account and only those two fields. Once I've done that, NAV is now going to start tracking changes that users make. And you can turn that on in real time and, and uh, you could start tomorrow with change log. 